My name is Thomas Eves with the Eves Realty Group at Keller Williams Realty, and this is Whiteboard Wednesday, a segment where we take issues that are ailing the real estate industry, either home sellers, home purchasers, or uh, other real estate professionals, and uh, we whiteboard them out. We make it really, really easy to understand. We break it down into really digestible chunks. So today's topic is pricing strategy. Now, this video applies to whether you're a home seller and you're trying to maximize exposure for your property, or if you are a real estate professional and you're finding that your listings aren't getting in front of enough people, particularly not in front of the people that are going to end up purchasing the property, okay? So um, w whenever we're looking into listing a property for sale, selling a property, the first thing that comes to mind is the price. What are we gonna list the property for, okay? So we always start here and everyone's mind always goes to the same place. So if we're gonna find the price, then the first thing we need to do is we need to run comps. We need to run comparable sales, see what comparable properties in the neighborhood or in the area are selling for, okay? The common misconception Exception, though is that once we come up with comps and we multiply the average price per square foot times the square footage of your property we've come up with uh, the price but the, the idea is that we've also come up with the pricing strategy and that is not true price and comps do not equal a pricing strategy pricing strategy means that we're actually putting your property in front of the most people and more likely in front of the people that are actually going to purchase your property because that's what it's all about, right? We need to put it in front of the person that's ultimately going to buy it, okay? So just in this scenario, let's just imagine that you have a property that is, uh, you know, we run the comparable sales and we come up with, uh, it, it's it's somewhere in the neighborhood of $500,000, right? Okay, so if it's $500,000, let's just imagine for a second that we have uh, a range here. So let's just say over here is $450,000, okay? Right here in the middle is $500,000. Then over here on the uh, right side is $550,000, okay? So um, here's what most agents will do. Uh, Walmart and Sears did a study way back in the 80s. You can fact check me on this. Uh, and they decided that uh, properties should be listed, or rather that products should be listed on either a nine or a seven because the consumer looking at a product on a shelf would see it as less expensive uh, if it were on uh, priced on that nine or on that seven. Like So for example, if it was $1.99 or $1.97, people wouldn't think, oh, it's $2. They would think, oh, it's a dollar and some change. So they would be more likely to purchase it because it appears cheaper. Makes perfect sense for products on a shelf doesn't make a ton of sense for real estate because that's not how we shop for it. Most people are starting their real estate search online. So think about Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, all the big third-party sites. They're actually separating these properties into segments of 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, 250,000. In this scenario, it's 50,000, right? So just imagine that looking from 450,000 to 500,000, you have uh, X amount of buyers. Let's just say that X equals 100 buyers, okay? Just for example's sake, just for simplicity. So imagine that over here from 500,000 to 550,000, there's another 100 buyers, okay? So 200 total buyers looking here. So what most agents will do is they will use that nines pricing strategy that Walmart and Sears came up with, and they will price right about here, okay? So they'll price right about here, where the property is priced at either $499.9, $499.999, or $499, right? So a um, dollar, a hundred dollars, or a thousand dollars cheaper than five hundred thousand. What happens when you do that is that you choose to market your property only to these one hundred buyers, okay? And you're the most expensive property in that pricing bracket, right? Whereas if we just elevate your price a dollar, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, which will make virtually no change to your average price per square foot, what happens is now we get in front of double the amount of buyers, right? So pricing strategy is about exposing your property to more people because the more people, the more showings, the more likely you're going to find a purchaser uh, in a shorter amount of time. That's pricing strategy, and that's one of the pricing strategies that we implement here at the Eves Realty Group. This has been Whiteboard Wednesday. My name is Thomas Eves with the Eves Realty Group, the best of real estate under one roof.